Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Hey there. Hi, Arthur. And we're live. Welcome back to part 63 of Free Roam Fridays, where we free roam with Arthur in Chapter 3. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Arthur! Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Uncle, messing up our shot. Uncle has been wanting to get into this YouTube business for a long time now. He's very curious about the camera crew we have following Arthur all of the time. I can always make you a new satchel if you died on space. We went to town with Sadie, and Arthur saw these jokers outside of the post office. What did you get there, Harold? Nothing. What do you mean? Howdy. Howdy. Good morning, mister. Look, get some ointment, all right? Hello it's a there. private matter. Now I really must be going. Don't mention this to Vera. We will be making a short video out of this. 30 seconds or less. I often think of posting videos as flying kites. You toss one up and hope the wind, also known as the algorithm, will send that video flying. And because YouTube wants to siphon off that TikTok crowd, shorts go flying sky high and get crazy views. I can almost guarantee that that Vera segment we just saw will get 10 times the views of this video in a day, if not more with very little effort on my part. Also, I feel I need to point out that this is additional content for the channel. Nothing has been taken away. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see? Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you. We are still doing Free Roam Fridays and Marston Mondays and all of the regular videos where I talk to you and craft, I may say, exquisite thumbnails. What the shorts mean for me is I am now able to post daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos literally at least twice a day, every day, sometimes more. I understand that change is hard for some of you, however, shorts bring in new viewers, new subscribers, and ultimately new players for the game. They are essential to this channel's growth, at least for the time being. Let's move on. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? No! Sadie's a little gun crazy right now, and you really can't blame her. What the hell was that? They was gonna rob us. New pair of pants. Think you're landing rickets? Oh shit! This is the first time we see Sadie in action, and she makes quite an impression on Arthur. Okay there, Sadie. Of course. Think I can't get these fools? There, see? Not many still standing now. Hold 
you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember asking you to prove it. Yeah, you run, you goddamn coward! I think we're good here, Arthur. Not shooting. All right, I'll drive us back. No, past those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yeah. You we showed those bastards, huh? That journal of yours. The mind of balls. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. Ah. Uh... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. Also note, Sadie's tone in her voice as she says, Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Sends my heart soaring every time. We all need someone in our lives who speaks to us with that much warmth and affection. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe, <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> Just so you know, we will also be making a short video out of that finesse quote. Let's move on. Checking in with Mr. Pearson because we need to work on our satchel. Arthur doesn't want to approach Cerberus without 99 apples and 99 sugar cubes. I can always make you a new satchel if you're tight on space. And it looks like we need pretty much everything. Let's go get some deer. Oh, hello. I'll see to that. Hey, Thanks, Pierce. Hi, Mary Beth. However, we do have that burdock root Kieran asked us for. Hello. Here's some of that burdock root you wanted. Oh, you actually... Well, thank you. This will make a good batch, all right. Okay. Poor Kieran's still a little shy and won't even look at us. That's okay, I guess. Kieran needs to find his way. Kieran, Kieran. Hi. That's it, girl. Yeah, good girl. Yeah. And as long as we are on the shore, we might as well start collecting snakes. Arthur's favorite trapper saddle is, of course, the rattlesnake saddle. I mean, Snake Island is just across from camp. We can see it from here. First things first, we need some small game arrows. This is by far my favorite way to hunt snakes. However, it eats Deadeye.
and the map. Let's go, girl. Yeah. Let's move on. Okay, then. Camp over here, very close to our camp. Arthur will allow it as we are very busy today. Hey, you're okay, girl. We did nothing wrong. And the first deer. Dead wild boar here. Train got him. Yep. I never get tired of seeing the wild horses in this game. Dewberry Creek is also great for snakes. <laughs> and snakes in this game, for some reason, cannot climb inclines. They roll off and die. Sometimes we get lucky. We can only store five of these and we need ten for our saddle. Yep. And what does this joker want? Hey! Over here! Over here! 
please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. If I don't get these shackles off soon, I'm a goner. Please. There you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, well, I've waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jot on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Easy enough. We get a bit of honor and 20 dead eye points for helping him out. Very handy this early in the game. Also a robbery tip for Catfish Jacksons, but that's not important for Arthur right now. Let's go look for Bambi, or rather, Bambi's mother. And another one. That bird was freaking Arthur out for a second. He's been talking to John. A buck. We need a buck. Let's track him. We need to get closer so we can call. And Arthur says, good night, Mr. Buck. Come on, girl. Yeah. Hey there, mister. Let's see if we can find some pork chops. Yep.
There we go. Two star. This is a great location for wild boar in chapter 2. However, wild boars are abundant around camp in chapter 3. Not as critical now. Yep. And more deer. Yep. Just hold on there, girl. Ironically, deer are not very dear in this game. No pun intended. Well, maybe a little pun. Very little. Shout out to the viewers in the UK for the deer pun. Good job! <laughs> Let's grab some of these berries for the horse. And it is a lovely moonlit night for a ride. Driscoll camp. Arthur cannot deal with those jokers right now. Also, he doesn't want to get his perfect deer pelts shot up. Out there, mister!
shall do a little night hunting. Why not use this Lemoyne sign as a deer blind and see if we can spawn the ghost train. No luck on the ghost train. However, Arthur was impatient and got bored. Another camp. Arthur really wants to get back to routine camp inspections. Here's another three star. We shall take the whole carcass. We are very close to camp, and we need to donate five carcasses to Mr. Pearson for one of these satchels. And another one. Don't take long, girl. A Belgian draft. This camp sometimes spawns a piebald Tobiano. The operative word being sometimes. We'll check back. And we made it home again.
Hey, Arthur. I left a box of ammunition by your tent. A thank you for getting me that pomade. Okay. Well, thanks, Bill. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. Look how great Mr. Pearson looks in this light. We need to get into this light. Thank you, Arthur. If it ain't little Eddie. How are you? Life is good. Good for you. That's better. Arthur will take a moment to post for the thumbnail and the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast-related content, and our Discord. And the Reverend is singing again. We better wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. We are starting over, and we need everything. Satchels, saddles, camp upgrades. Also, with wild boars being so abundant, we might as well get John's rug. Abigail will be happy about that. On Fridays, we free roam. I'll see you in part 64. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2 my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself.